is 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, so I'm on my way to Dan's house because he wants to go to Pawn America and try to sell all of his DVDs. I don't know why. He wants to, he thinks he's going to get a whole bunch of money, you know? But I'm glad he's going to Pawn America and he doesn't want to go to, um, that other place. Uh, where did we go? some place on the west side that we went last time and he only got like five bucks and he's like woo because they actually go through them and be like oh, I can't take them can't take them and I think Pawn America just pays you two dollars a DVD or something I'm not really sure but I don't know why Daniel thinks the expectation of DVDs is that you're going to get what you paid for them because you're not. You're not. But anyway, we're going to go to Pawn America. I'm headed towards this place right now. I'm running a little behind because it is 10.01. 10, 10, about 10 o'clock. And uh, I was supposed to, I woke up at 9.30 going, oh shoot, what time is it? When I looked at the clock, it was 9.31, so I'm running behind. I should have been out the door at 9.30 to be early. Anyway, it's okay. He, <laughs> Daniel can't really tell time. He has a developmental disabled disability, so he can sort of tell time. He can, he can read a clock, just not very well. It would take him... Um, a little bit to determine that 10 is one zero. Zero zero, obviously. So, I'm not ragging on him. That's, it's not an issue. I'm just saying he won't know. That sounds so stupid and bad. It's terrible. I'm a terrible sister. Alright, I'll talk to you later. As you can tell, where I am. Uh, we had to kill some time. Pawn America does not take DVDs anymore. Um, Video Game Exchange does not take DVDs. We are at Target because we are killing some time before we go to Journeys, which is a Chinese restaurant. There is Daniel. Hey, everybody. Yeah. And now, we're gonna go. Uh, we gotta go this way. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, busy, busy now. Time to go. You wanna know what's some BS? This. It's snowing. I mean, it's really light snow, and my turn signal is still on. But it's still, it's snowing. It's the middle of March. The first day of spring is Monday. And it's gotta be snowing right now? I hate Wisconsin because of the snow. And I'm so glad I don't live in Minnesota or Canada or anywhere else that gets a hundred some plus inches of snow a year. Like that place in Northern California. It's insane. It's insane. You like snow? Great. Snow is so beautiful. No, it's freaking not. Snow, I hate it. It's cold, miserable. You can't see, do anything. You're like, oh, put on some layers. I hate layers. I'd rather be naked. I'd be naked all day. I don't. I like clothes. I'll wear a layer of clothes, you know, like a tank top and pants. And, but then, you know, stop with the freaking snow. I'm going home. I am home. I'm going to take a nap. Very exciting. Fit check. That's what Gen Z people do, right? They talk about a fit check which is basically like this is what I'm wearing this is what I'm wearing 
I got my SpongeBob shirt on with some really nice, relaxed, very old sweatpants that have that go they're like capri sweatpants. Back in the day, they were like popular, I guess. I'm not really sure, but they're comfortable. And they're it's not too warm, but also not too cold. I'm gonna go downstairs now because I gotta pee for one, two, I'm hungry, and three. I didn't take my nap. I'm gonna watch TV or something. All right, I'm in the kitchen. Honestly, oh, going to tell you a story. It is not a good story, but I'm going to tell it to you anyway. There's no point to the story, so if you'd like to skip the story, I don't care. So once upon a time, in a place not too far from here, lived a girl. This little girl was a, uh, she, I guess you could call her a loner. She didn't have many friends. And the friends that she did have that day, um, uh, the friends that she did have were gone. Whatever day that was, she didn't have anyone around to, to hang out with. So this little girl was so bored. So she decided, you know what? I'm going to go on an adventure. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to wander and I'm going to find myself an adventure. Hello, kitty. She got this idea in her mind that she could go outside and just find an adventure anywhere because uh, that's what happens in the movies. She really liked adventures where, or not met adventures, she really liked movies where um, people would hop the train tracks. They'd get on a train secretly. And they would just ride the rails, you know, like a hobo. They would just ride the rails and see where the road tracks, where the train took them. She decided, that sounded like a good idea. So, you know, like they do in the movies, she took her bandana and she loaded it with things she thought she would need. She got her dad's Swiss Army knife. She put that in there. She needed matches. She got some matches. Put that in her in her uh, bandana. Then she got. She thought, oh. What if I get an infection? Mom gives me pills. So she went and she found a an empty film cartridge. Do you know what film is? Probably not. If you do know what film is, you know what I'm talking about. She found an empty film cartridge and she put random pills in it. I think this is probably like ibuprofen and Tylenol. And she said, Mom gives me this when I get a headache, when I have a fever. So she thought, let me just take some of this random pills. And she put them in this um, film cartridge thing. So she got her drugs, her medicine. She got her medicine. She got her, her matches. She got her, um, she got a few granola bars from the cupboard. She put them in her, her sack, her, her bandana sack. She tied it up, just like they do in the movies. She's going to go out with a stick. Problem is, she didn't have a stick. So, instead... She decided to take one of her denim, not one of them, she took her denim backpack. Not like a school backpack, like a little purse backpack. She decided since she couldn't use 
the sack, she wanted to look inconspicuous when leaving the house as well because her plan was to go on a grand adventure and she did not know how long she would be gone. So she put it in the backpack. She said, all right, mom, I'm going for my walk. Mom, being the trusting woman that she is and knowing that the neighborhood they live in was safe. She said, all right, dear, we'll see you later. So the woman, the woman, the girl set out. She walked and she walked and she walked, but she knew exactly where she was going. She found the railroad tracks first. She walked down, just down the street. The start of her journey was just down the street, the railroad tracks. She followed the railroad tracks into the woods. She decided, you know what? I'm gonna go this way instead. So she got off the railroad tracks uh, because it was open. It was pretty open in the railroad tracks. She decided she's gonna need a place to live. She seemed, she walked for what seemed to her for an eternity. It had to be, had to be a really far away. She's gonna need somewhere to, to bunker down, somewhere to shelter. So she found an, an, a relatively open area had some trees, a little, little hidden, kind of open, kind of hidden. She said, you know what? I got to build myself a house. She found some sticks around. She put them four corners. That's all you need for a house, right? Four corners. She built that. She put, she found a uh, fishing wire. She's using this fishing line to tie up some sticks, make walls for her house that she was going to live in now. She found some, some, some plastic sheet she was going to use for the roof. This will be great, she thought, because then um, the water won't get in the house. It'll stay nice and dry. She put that on there. She's getting tired now. Hungry. She reached into her backpack. Had granola bars in them, right? She picked out some granola bar. She ate a granola bar. Still hungry. Man, I don't know, she thought to herself. Not sure if this life is for me. So she packed up her stuff, her matches, pill of random drugs. Pill of random, you know, thing of random drugs, and pills. She packed up. She took the fishing wire home because you never know. She's going to go back, finish her. She's going to finish her, her house where she's going to live with that hobo life next to the train tracks. She didn't know how, how long she'd gone. She didn't know how far she'd gone. It started getting dark. So, all right, I got to go. She walked, she walked, she walked. She found the train tracks. She walked back home. She found her way home. She was hungry. She got home, opened the door. Hey mom, I'm back for my walk. She says, her mom says, are you okay? So you were gone for a really long time. The girl says, yeah, I'm okay. She said to go for a walk. Reality, that girl was thinking, you know what? I guess this place I live ain't so bad. I've got everything I need. It's my house. It's my parents' house, but I live here too. It's my house, and I stay there. This is Brett. And so the girl decided that she didn't want to run away like a hobo. Not anymore. She thought, she thought to herself, you know what? This bed I have, this roof I have, all this stuff I have, it's pretty dang good. So she didn't go on a walk anymore. She didn't try to run away. She still liked adventure movies. And she decided that her adventures 
would be small. And they are. So on TikTok, a lot of people will post like snippets or clips of movies. Just be like, here's a piece of a movie. Part one, part whatever. Anyway, there was one that was very interesting to me. It was called uh, Above the Shadows. And which is an interesting title in itself. Above the Shadows could mean a lot of things. It could be a horror movie. It could be above some or other. Anyway, this one is about this girl who disappeared physically after her mom died. She goes on this journey, grows up living on her own and stuff. <sighs> anyway, she ends up being seen by a former MMA fighter. I like MMA. So, when Tito Ortiz shows up on the movie, I'm like, hey, that's that's Tito, that's Ortiz. You know, anyway, he's playing fighter, obviously. Regardless, uh, besides the point. Good movie. I recommend it. It's on Peacock. Um, if you don't have Peacock, I'm sorry. You can't watch it, I guess. But Above the Shadows is the name of the movie. It was very interesting. So now I have put on... Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 1 because there is never a bad time for Harry Potter. That's what I'm going to watch for now.